Hello, this is Rice No. Last time we created this keyboard listener uh, sample program. So when you type like one key or M key or enter key on your keyboard, then uh, your program can detect your keyboard input. So you can use it for like a in-game shortcut, like a I key for inventory or M key for map or stuff like that. Mm. And also I explained about uh, focus, so unless the object is not focused, key listener doesn't work and it doesn't respond to your keyboard input. And so this time I'm going to implement this uh, key listener function to this adventure. So right now you can you play this adventure by using mouse. So you select these buttons with your mouse and uh, click the button and so you can choose your action like this but so this time I'm gonna try to change the code so you can play this game with only keyboard so you don't need to use mouse so yeah let's start uh, first thing we need to do is make a key handler mm, okay so here public class key handler implements action this no not action listener <laughs> uh, key listener na import and override public void key pressed event e and uh, override public void key released key event e uh, override public void key typed key event e uh, yeah okay uh, par not pubic public and uh, import key event mm. so this time I think we are going to use up allow key up allow key and down allow key and also enter key so you can select these buttons by using uh, by pressing uh, up allow key or down allow key and uh, also you know select the button by pressing enter so first okay switch and e dot get key code and here so this time key event not one or m or but pk uh, up mm. so this means a uh, up key uh, yeah break for now and the case key event pk uh, down and uh, yeah this time we don't add enter key but only this up and down and uh, yeah I'm gonna explain why later so we're gonna let the uh, enter input in different way this time so yeah and uh, so now so we add this uh, key handler key handler Okay, and uh, yeah, we're gonna add this key handler to this window. Window dot add key this na key handler, and I'm gonna make uh, integer. 
and uh, name this as bottom position okay and let's go back to this uh, key handler and inside of this key event vk app uh, another switch and then here we use this bottom position and uh, okay just a moment let me type a uh, default value of this bottom position one and uh, so this bottom position means uh so i'm going to use a uh, one two three four so it means if you are selecting this button top button then uh, it means bot bottom position is one and if you are selecting this and the bot bottom position is two and three four so like this so we're gonna use this bottom position to check which button is currently selected okay so uh, yeah bottom position and uh, case one and uh, bottom position one Break. this means uh, so if current bottom position is one means this top button and then if you press this up key then uh, you are selecting this top button so even if you press up button you know you cannot go up anymore so the number is still one so it doesn't change and uh, on the other hand so if current bottom position is 2 then uh, it goes up so number changes to 1 uh, not column and if current bottom position is 3 then uh, position 2 so move up and it becomes 2 and uh, if current bottom position is 4 then uh, uh, 3 hmm. okay and uh, let's copy this and this uh, down part ah no shoot uh, hmm. and so if current position is 1 and if you press down then uh, it becomes 2 and 3 and 4 and 4 uh, not 5 4 it moves like this and I'm gonna make a new method I think here and the public void and the called uh, bottom highlight Because uh, we need to let the users uh, visually understand uh, which button is currently selected. Okay, so and I'm gonna make a switch and uh, here bottom position. We use this bottom position again. And uh, if bottom position is one, so what to do? Choice one set foreground so choice one means a uh, bottom one foreground color and uh, like a green mm. and uh, choice two set foreground color white copy this and uh, 3 4 and okay break then uh, let me copy this and uh, 2 3 4 so case 2 case 3 and case 4 so this time uh, so if bottom position is 2 then uh, we're gonna highlight button 2 so 
uh, white and if three then uh, we're gonna highlight this button three white and button four white mm. yeah so it's like this and uh, let's go back to this so key pressed so after these switch statements we're gonna call this button highlight so this way it's gonna highlight the button so based on these numbers so it's gonna highlight these buttons okay yeah then let's check this and the start and okay let's press up arrow key or down arrow key but yeah nothing happens uh, because yeah so we just uh, yeah I explained this last time but we just clicked this start button you know the focus just moved to the start button so this window also we added this key listener to this window but the uh, window the window is no longer focused so it doesn't respond so we have to let the window regain the focus again so just like we did last time i think we can type here after start button was pressed so we can request focus again okay and let's check this click start button and if you press up arrow key here so down key up key down key so like this so by using these arrow keys you can select these buttons mm. the next step is how to let these buttons detect your enter enter input I've tried several ways and uh, I, I, I thought the best uh, best way or e easiest way as far as I know is uh, adding this line uh, window that get root pain round bracket dot set default button and inside of this bracket here choice one so this means j button so button one copy this and uh, and uh, choice two choice three choice four so yeah by typing like this get root pane uh, set the default button and the uh, button name and uh, so this button will respond to your enter input so basically when this button is selected and uh, if you press enter then uh, it's gonna produce the same result as you click the button with your mouse yeah so uh, let's check the program Okay, yeah. And so, for example, if you select this talk to the guard and uh, press enter, yeah, so it works like this. Just like uh, when you click the button. So you can select the button and uh, choose the action by typing enter. So, like this. Mm. Yeah, so now you can play this adventure by only using keyboard so you don't need to use mouse at all or uh, yeah maybe I'm gonna add uh, one little thing so yeah right now you know we are clicking this start button so uh, where is it here start button mm. anywhere is fine but uh, okay window dot get root pane and uh, set default button and this time start button 
So now this start button will respond to your enter input. So let's start the game and uh, oops. And uh, if you press enter, then you can start the game. Yeah, like this. Hmm. Okay, so that's how to implement this key listener to adventure. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching and see you again. Bye.